Basically, right now, I'm just getting this engine block off this stand, and I'm getting this head off this cart. I'm going to throw it in the back of my truck, and then I'm going to take this to CarQuest, and we're going to get it pressure testing this thing and seeing if it has any micro cracks in it before we start building this thing back up. I'm going to get this off the stand right now. I'm going to throw it in the back of my truck, throw some brake cleaner at it so it's not dripping oil anymore, and then I'm going to send it off to CarQuest, but I'm not going to do that until tomorrow, but I'm just putting it in my truck right now. So it's all cleaned out and I'm just going to get this out of here and send this straight off to CarQuest. Well, that's really bad of me. I just dropped off my engine block and my head at CarQuest, but yeah, I didn't film that. I don't know why, but I brought my little one with me because Mila and I are dropping off engine parts because that's what we like to do as a family. So I just dropped it off now. They're checking the cylinder bore on it. They're checking to see if it's level and true and they're cleaning it and pressure testing the thing. And then once they have that, then that means that we can have our parts ordered in. And from there, then we can start building this engine and having them actually machine it. All right, guys, I'm back at CarQuest. This is like two and a half weeks later. I have a bunch of work stuff in the back here and I have a bed full of junk that I have to dump. So I'm gonna put my engine block and my head right here for now. Then I'm gonna go to work and then organize it all later. All right, so we just have to take a second to appreciate how flipping clean this thing is. Jeez, got a little bit of like surface rust and stuff, which is fine. But man, I'm telling you, you guys saw how this came in here. It was not that clean at all. It was very dirty when it came in. So mad happy about that. Like, look at this. It's going to be a nice engine going back in the engine bay there. Like, I'm going to have to clean up the engine mounts and stuff like that because of how clean this is. So anyways, I got this in here now. I'm going to probably turn this on its side so it doesn't roll. Yeah, it's going to sit here for now. I got to go to work, finish up some stuff today, and then get this over to my shop. Just got back to the shop, and I'm going to put this inside my shop so I don't have to drive around with it. But man, look at how clean this thing is. Shoo! Look at that. All right, there we go. So I got my engine block in the head back in the shop here. Right now I got the 2.5 liter on the engine stand. I just put it just to get it out of the way. I wasn't trying to disassemble anything right now. That is its own thing. I'm going to do that later. Got no use for that right now. Not until I do some other build with it. Actually, the turbocharger stuff from this, I can actually use on that if I find another project to put it in. But right now my main focus is the 3 liter. So it looks so good. They did a great job on it. It's pressure test has no micro cracks in it whatsoever it's all good the cylinder bore is good everything is good with that both surfaces on the deck and the head here are level so this is a good sign so when I go to rebuild it everything's gonna be okay I'm gonna be doing some oversized valves in this thing so I'm gonna make the guys a list at the machine shop of stuff I need them to do and then get it all quoted out for me but right now I'm waiting on parts so as soon as I get parts then we're gonna send this back to the machine shop and then they're gonna do their thing with it until we get back so I gotta wait for parts parts but once I have my parts then I can take this back to the machine shop and then I can get them to do the valves and get the pistons all lined up in there and stuff and I might even get them to do the pins on the pistons as well just because I don't have a press so there's a couple things I need them to do I'm gonna make them a list and then send in my stuff once I get all my parts but for now this is all that we're doing with that and I have to basically just wait it's a waiting game now but this is gonna be filmed over the course of like maybe a month or so but for you guys it's gonna be a one video. 
All right, so this is just an update, but this, I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with videos right now. Like I tore this apart and I was gonna get it machined and then I tore this 2.5 liter apart and I was also gonna build that, but I'm just gonna be doing the three liter and building it for about 450 to 500 horsepower for the meantime. And while I'm waiting on parts for this, like pistons and all this stuff, then I'm going to just accumulate the parts as I need them and just stick them on my shelf and then once I have all the parts ready to go with this thing, I'll take it out of the car and then I'll put it on the stand, I'll rebuild it and then I'll slap it back in the car with a whole bunch more boost and a whole bunch more power and then tune it. This is where I'm at right now, putting this block and head in my truck. I'm gonna drive it to the machine shop tomorrow. I'm gonna use my head studs that I got. Those are M12 head studs. Now, OEM head studs are, and they're not studs, they're bolts rather, but these are M10 head bolts. And I need to make the through holes for M12s on the head and then I need to tap and drill holes on all 14 of these in the engine block. So each one of those 14 holes I need to drill and tap. So I'm gonna take it to a machine shop tomorrow and get that done. And I'm just gonna load this up now and I'll give you an update when I'm ready and done with this. I got the oil pan with the transfer case on it for the all wheel drive. And this, I'm gonna take this to CarQuest and I'm gonna get that cleaned because it's super dirty. I want a nice clean engine to go back in when it goes in. Also, I've packed in a bunch of parts here too so I can send it for cleaning. So I have my oil filter housing here. I got my Vanos and I have my crank pulley and I also have both engine mounts, the oil pump and I have the rear main seal in there. So I'm gonna get those all sent away to CarQuest to put them in their spray cabinet and get that all cleaned up because I don't want to bolt those nasty parts up against a super clean engine block and head so anyways I got all this stuff packed in and I'm just going to close up my shop for the night gotta grab my head studs over here and then I'm done here for the night and I'm gonna send that out like I said tomorrow I'm gonna get these parts sent to CarQuest and I'm gonna get the engine head and the engine block sent to another company I'll film all that when I get there but for right now I'm just gonna take my head studs I'm gonna head out for the night. So here we are. I am at the machine shop for my engine block and my engine head and I'm about to drop this off. I gotta go ask him to help me because I just pulled my back today so that sucks but anyways I'm gonna get him to take it into a shop and talk some pricing. Got my stuff right here. Okay so I don't know why I don't film everything that I'm doing when I'm doing it. I just dropped off all my parts to CarQuest. I'm gonna have that cleaned and hopefully it's gonna get back to me in a couple days. I dropped off the oil pump as well so that I can do something with that. A couple parts that don't really need to be cleaned but I wanted them cleaned anyway. We'll get those back in a few days and then hopefully the head and the block will be machined and ready in a week or two and then I can have everything kind of ready to assemble but I'm also going to be buying some new parts in the meantime. All right I'm just pulling back up to car quest here. This is like I guess I don't know Four days later, I'm going to pick up all my parts right now. They said they have them all cleaned for me, so I'm going to get those and then I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so here everything is. I got the oil pan all cleaned up. Everything looks super nice. I just wanted to work with some clean stuff. When I rebuild this engine, I want everything to go back together nicely. Like even these engine mounts, like they were filthy before. Yeah, oil filter housing, the Vanos, everything looks super nice. And it will be better for the break-in period when I build this engine again. And then once I tune it for the break-in tune. Even this, like this oil pump, I decided that instead of doing the tie-down nut, I'm just gonna weld this 
thing because really there's no need to buy something like the bolt here that's supposed to be on this that you can tie off to the sprocket so it doesn't back out with shipping it's like flipping 60 something dollars for this little piece of crap so anyways i'm gonna weld that but i just wanted a clean surface and everything looks awesome also i got two alignment dowels for my engine block i'm gonna go drop those off to the machinist right now and get him to put these in and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be nice so i'm gonna have the engine block done too hopefully soon maybe i'll show you that but for now that's pretty much all that i'm doing and i'm just gonna drop those off and the machine shop that i'm going to he's got a big cnc machine and a bunch of other stuff in there mills and all that so anyways i'm going to the machine shop now So I didn't film in his shop and stuff because I just didn't want to be too intrusive with all that. He had some other projects going for some other customers. And so anyways, I got my stuff cleaned. I dropped off those dowels and he's going to have my head studs in pretty soon. So that's good news. We're going to be drilled and tapped. So now heading to McDonald's and then we're calling it a day and I'll give you an update on whatever's next. With that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoyed that video, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is going to be a monstrous build that we're doing. It's going to be absolutely epic. We're shooting for 750 wheel horsepower. That's a big power goal that we're trying to get to. It's completely possible and doable and we're going to make that power goal come to fruition. So hit that subscribe button and follow along. I'll link a playlist at the end of the video here for everything leading up to this point. Hit that like button. Let me know that you did enjoy this video. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments. Let me know because I can help you and answer questions that you may have. And don't forget to join our Discord server and our WhatsApp server. That's the best place to ask full-length, detailed questions if it's too much to comment it in the comments below. So hit us up. There's a community of like-minded people doing the same type of stuff. People there to help out and answer questions. So if you like that video, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one.